What do you say we get started on the next 14S 100P that I've been saying I'm gonna be doing for like the past, I don't know, year and a half plus? But I'm kinda hungry and I want a bowl of ice cream. All right, I think what we're gonna start today finally is the next 14S 100P. I'm serious, I know, it's been like, I don't know, I've been saying I'm gonna be working on these packs for the last, I don't know, year and a half or maybe even two years and I just haven't had, I just haven't had time to actually do it. And you know what? I'm gonna make time. So that's what we're gonna start doing. We're gonna be working on the next 14S 100P. Now I'm gonna say this video is probably gonna be, you know, I wanna ease back into it. So this video might be a little slow because all I plan on doing is separating cells into their respective piles. Not into packs, just into piles. And there's many ways to do that. A lot of people like to use the repepper, repepper? Repepper. A lot of people like to use the repacker program online. I've never used it. What you do is enter in all your cells and it's gonna do some crazy wizardry and it's gonna separate all your cells into equal packs. I mean, that does sound pretty good, but I've got 1,400 cells. I guess if you got small packs, it might be a good idea, but with 1,400 cells, I mean, that just sounds like a huge task. And after you get all the cells entered in there, what do you do with them in the meantime? Do you line them up in a row or do you kind of separate them into boxes? I don't know. Boxes is probably the best way, but who knows. And then after that, you have to find each cell so you can put them in each pack. To me, it just seems like a lot of chasing cells. I don't know. But I'm kind of talking myself into trying it. I wonder if I could get the wife to help me out if I read off the numbers and she types them into the computer or vice versa. I don't know, if she doesn't want to help me then I'm going to do it the same way I did my last 14S 100P and that is the manual repacker version. Basically it's a pencil and paper. It's probably even more of a pain in the ass, but it works for me. All right, so if you wanna do the manual repacker version, which is probably what I'm gonna do anyway, is get all of your cells and start separating them into a bunch of different piles. If you have boxes, that's great. I should have a couple of boxes, but we'll see. Basically, I'm gonna start from the lowest milliamp hour, which is, for me, it's 2000. Actually, I don't even know what the highest one is. In the last 14S, I think it was around 30 400 milliamp hours. I guess we'll see whenever I'm done with this one. But anyway, you separate them into boxes or piles, 2000 milliamp hours, 2100 milliamp hours, 22, 23, 24, until you're done. The next thing I typically do is take the lowest milliamp hour box or pile and separate those equally into my 14 packs or however many packs you have. So start taking one out of the box into 14 piles. And then once you're done with that box, wherever you left off, you take the 2100 milliamp hour box, start there and then continue on. Take all the 2100 out, put it in the next pile until that box is done, until all the boxes are done. And that's kind of important to remember where you left off because if you don't, you're gonna end up with more. Hey, bu hey buddy, here's Horace. You coming up here or what? That's why the camera might've changed a few minutes ago because uh, Horace came down here and hey buddy, hi. Uh, started messing with camera and stuff. Hey, um, I need to, I'm trying to do a video. Thanks, hi, yep, mm-hmm, yep. Say hi. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Over there. Over here. Not me. Say hi to the camera. Okay, I'm going to put you back down so I can do the rest of this talking thing and then we're going to separate some cells. Remember, it is important after you're done with one box and wherever you left off in your 14S pack or however many packs you're at to start the next box where you left off. Otherwise, you're going to have more in one pile and the other. And that will get you close to equal packs. And what I do after that is each pack, you add up all the cells together to see how close they actually are. And if they're close, then you're completely done. And if you want them a little closer because occasionally you will get like a, a higher pack or a lower pack. You can swap around some cells from the higher pack to the lower pack until your heart's content. I did that on my last 14S 100P and I think it worked out pretty good. No, no, no. 
So that's all we're gonna do in this video, is separate cells. I'm not gonna do any maths or anything in this video. That'll probably be on the next video. So if you're not interested in watching somebody separate cells, I don't blame you on that one, and we'll see you on the next one. No, 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 okay. Uh, no, 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 claws, claws. But if you're bored and wanna watch me separate cells, you're in luck because that's what we're doing. I do need to rummage over there in my hoard pile real quick to find the cells. Oh, and I gotta make sure they're charged. So actually, that's what we're gonna do first is we're gonna check the voltage on the cells and then separate them. So let's get to it. Next to my chainsaw. One right here, one right here, and one right here. So we're gonna bring this box over first and check the voltage and then separate them. We're gonna squash that bug first. Got him. Remember, lift with your back, not your legs. Box number one. All right, here we go. All right, one box down. These are all separated in 2000, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I just started another box of 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Off to the next box. But before I do that, I did have a couple lower cells and I found some Chinese ones in here, the gray ones. I don't know if I'm gonna use those yet. Maybe put a comment down below if you think I should use those, but here they are. All right, these are the Chinese cells. There's what, five or six in there so far. They all have pretty good numbers. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use those yet. These right here are just a little bit under four volts. They're around 3.95 or 9.6, which I don't think is too bad since they've been sitting in there for damn near, I don't know, a year and a half. I did have one with the corrosion on the bottom there it'll focus and this one is a 1918 milliamp hour so of course I don't know how that got in there but it did unless that was a two at one time I don't know maybe I'll recheck it and we'll see I am just going to retest those and let them sit and put a comment down below if you think I should use those off to the next box holy moly holy moly cell yeah. Get up there. So this has roughly 514 cells in it. I might have taken a couple out of here for the other Batrium project, but I'm not sure if it was this box or the other box. Here we go. Box number two, done. And look at those piles right there. So this is uh, 25, 26, 27, 2800, 29, and 30, or 3000 milliamp hours. And this pile is huge, so I don't want it to fall over, so I'm gonna transfer it over into another box real quick.
All right, all of these are separated into their, you know, 2,000, 2,100, 2,200, etc. All the way up to the highest one is I do have a 3,000 milliamp hour, you know, little pile. So I am going to use those. I thought I had some higher ones, but maybe not. Oh, those are in um, the cells I got from Terry, which I don't know if I'm going to be using in this pack. We'll see. Um, so total, if I did my Peter maths correctly, I should have 1,453 cells right here. So if I do have, you know, a couple extra, then I'll just weed those off the bottom, pretty much. I will say it was a good idea to check the cells before I just threw them into a pack. So all of these cells were below 4 volts. And if you can't see all that, that's how many cells, I don't know how many is there, but that's how many cells were under 4 volts. And that's my cutoff is 4 volts. I mean, there was a couple that were real close to 4 volts. And then, you know, there was a couple that were like 385. But I'm probably going to retest those and let them sit for a couple of weeks and see if they self-drain. But I guess we'll see. And then I also had a couple here. These were all super self-drainers. These were all like 1.2 volts or less. And of course, I found a, a high voltage cell in there as well. So... Yeah, he's not gonna go in there. Other than that, yeah, make sure you check the voltage on your cells before you make your packs. All right, well, I think I might call it quits for this video. I think it's probably gone long enough. I know, it is actually a shorter video. Can you believe it? Mm -mm, I can't either. So, okay, the next video, we're gonna continue on with this manual repacker. Um, yeah, so make sure you come back and see the rest of it. I hope this video wasn't too boring. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you. Uh, what do you say? What do you say? Eh? And that is just... Um, 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 I don't know. Alright. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I already forgot. Hey, dude, no, no, no. You're running into the camera. Okay, I'm gonna make you leave for a couple of minutes, okay? Probably. All right, I forgot where I was even at, or what I was even saying. Uh, tail. Okay, come on, quit. Okay, yes, thank you. I'm gonna put you down, okay? Put you down. And, hey, what are you doing? Moving my camera around? Hmm? Moving the camera? Yeah. Come on up here. Yeah, come on up. Ah, claws. All right, that's it. Let's let's call it quits. It's like um, 3:53. Just give me a couple of minutes, okay, dude? Every time. Every time. <laughs>